meet Ukraine's gun-toting military girls sharing videos and pictures from the front line ahead of Russia invasion. Female Ukrainian soldiers are taking to the video sharing app TikTok to post glam pictures and videos of themselves in their bid to win the soft power propaganda war with Russia. Clips of glamorous women in Ukrainian military uniforms dancing, fooling around in barracks, and even holding bullets have gone viral on social media. The videos often feature posing female troops. As tensions between Russia and Ukraine remain strained, sharing candid videos and pictures of troops behind the scenes have become another front for a quasi-war. Typically, the videos feature soldiers performing dances, but some also show female troops taking apart and reassembling weapons, or having fun in barracks. One TikTok video shows a group of young women miming along to a song while dressed in military uniforms with the Ukrainian flag and military insignia. The group appears to be outside a military barracks in Ukraine. On the same account, the young woman shares a series of pictures and short videos of herself and fellow recruits posing and carrying out military drills. The account has racked up almost 35k followers and nearly 600k likes. Another account features clips of three young female recruits in military fatigues posing together on maneuvers in the woods, pretending to spank each other in their barracks, and sleeping in their quarters. The account, with almost 5k followers and 52k likes, has the bio, girl with the camouflage heart, in reference to her military service. Irina Grezarovska, who has more than 3k followers and 27k likes, says in her TikTok bio, Ukraine above all? She shares a number of videos of herself singing and dancing while wearing her Ukrainian military uniform. A further account, belonging to a female soldier Katyusha, features a number of glamorous videos of the recruit and her comrades in full fatigues, dancing sexily and on patrol in a full face of makeup. Her account has quickly grown to almost 30k followers and almost 500k likes. An Instagram account linked to one of the TikTok pages includes a picture of a female Ukrainian soldier holding bullets in her manicured hand next to a large gun. This is love, the caption of the bullet picture reads. Such videos and pictures appear to serve a soft power role for Ukraine, and receive glowing praise in Ukrainian media. A clip of Ukrainian commando Oleksandr Kolom dancing to Whitney Houston's Queen of the Night recently went viral, with comments praising the indestructibility of the Ukrainian spirit and expressing the belief that Ukraine will definitely win with that sort of attitude. Like talking to a deaf person Sergei Lavrov. It comes after Ukraine expanded military conscription to include all women fit for military service between the ages of 18 and 60 as threats with Russia rose. The edict from Ukraine's Ministry of Defense in December 2021 means that in the event of a major war, this female reserve can be mobilized as part of the National Reserve to serve in a broad range of military specialties. This is not about conscription after reaching some age, as it is for men, Ukrainian MP Oleksandra Ustinova said. And considering more than 122,000 Russian troops are at our borders, the decision seems logical, timely, and sensible. Speaking to Coffee or Die magazine, Ustinova said, this sends a powerful signal to Moscow that Ukrainians are ready to resist. Although we strive for introduction of the contract army, in current situation, the decision to educate as many people as possible to hold arms and to be ready to serve seems a good one. As relations between Kiev and Moscow remain tense, British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss has visited Russia to warn of sanctions if Vladimir Putin's army doesn't stand down. In a frosty joint meeting with her Russian counterpart Sergei Lavrov in Moscow, Putin's minister mocked the talks with Truss as like talking to a deaf person. On Monday, the UK's Defence Secretary Ben Wallace announced Britain will send 350 extra troops to Poland over fears Russia could invade Ukraine any day. A glam Ukrainian soldier dances in her uniform. One female soldier holds ammunition casings in her manicured hand. Ukraine recently introduced conscription for women between 18 and 60. Today, a Ukrainian colonel showed off his new British-supplied military equipment as he roared God save the Queen in praise. As his troops tried out their new anti-tank rocket launchers. Lt. Col. Ihor Bezogluk of Ukraine's 72nd Brigade told The Sun, God save the Queen and thank you so much to Britain for giving us the Nwaz. We are so pleased with all the support from around the world, especially Britain. This has boosted morale and it will make the Russians think. 
Anything that will help us defend our country is very well received and these missiles have changed the war for us. Last week, Ukrainian civilians attended open military training amid fears of an imminent invasion. A picture of a Ukrainian woman, 59, in a headscarf holding a wooden gun during a military training exercise went viral earlier this month. The Donbas has been at war since 2014 as Russian-backed separatists fight to break away from the Ukraine. Kiev and Moscow have been feuding for the past eight years as Russia doesn't like the fact Ukraine is becoming closer to the West. As reported in the German publication Bild, a foreign intelligence service says it has gathered details of Russia's post-war plans for Ukraine, which it says are currently being discussed in top Russian military circles. According to the report, the Russian army plans to encircle and besiege Ukraine's major cities after destroying the country's forces in the field. Following the capture of Ukraine cities, the report states, Putin plans to set up a puppet parliament in the country, a so-called People's Rada. Newly established pro-Russian secret services would then help with the terrorizing of Ukraine's population to break the country's resistance, using the suppression of the pro-democracy movement in Belarus after 2020's stolen election as a potential model. It is alleged that Russia's security service the FSB is currently training pro-Russian groups for deployment in Ukraine and that Putin has tasked them with recruiting Ukrainian politicians and eliminating opponents of the Kremlin. The end goal of this invasion would be the calling of a nationwide referendum on absorbing Ukraine into Russia. According to the report a full-scale invasion is currently the most likely scenario, 